What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another brief lesson in Egyptian mythology. So real fast today we're going to talk about the god Set. Set or Seth, I don't know exactly how you pronounce it. It's been, they're still debating that just because of how it's been written before. But anyways, he is known as the god of darkness, chaos, confusion, aka any bad stuff that ever happens. Um... He's also, like I said, known as Seth, and then there's a few other names that I don't know exactly actually how to pronounce, so we're not going to go there with that. He's been depicted as a man with kind of an unknown animal's head because got a confusion, and the only thing I found on it while doing research is they've literally named it like the Set Animal. Sometimes he has like a giraffe head and like rhino head or something, like it's just weird. So he didn't really have like a Set Animal binding directly to him. So this dude's been kind of bad before. He killed his brother Osiris because he wanted a throne over Egypt. And then one of Osiris' offsprings, Horus, would eventually defeat him and take over the throne. And he's also been known to accompany Ra when Ra would travel across the sky. And he would cause storms and bad weather, as the Egyptians would think. But also he was used to battle, it looks like it's Apep. The Serpent of Chaos who would try to basically reign chaos against Ra and everything Ra ever did. He is the brother of Osiris, Isis, and Memphis. I believe Memphis? That's how you pronounce it? Either way. Uh, he's also the son of Geb and Nut or Nut. I don't know exactly how you pronounce that. I didn't look that one up. I'm sorry. But he is also the father of one of the best gods ever. Actually, the best god ever, Anubis. So... Basically, this is going to be pretty short. He's just kind of a bad dude. Is everything I've looked up, he was just kind of a bad dude. And uh, would you would kind of describe him as like a boogeyman in the culture. And yeah, I understand. Like, they needed... Because as humans, we try to image something for like anything bad happening and whatnot. And so they decided to put it into this god. And yeah, he took the role as that... Oh, also, he has uh, been the known as the Lord of the Desert, you know, because Horus honed all the land that you could live and farm and everything else, and so he kind of got all the bad stuff. So he's kind of just the uh, dumping pool of everything bad in Egyptian culture at that time, but he was kind of a jerk in his own right, so he kind of got his just deserves. Anyways, guys, thanks for coming and watching this really short video on another Egyptian god. Like I said, if you like it, like, you know, drop a like. If you're new, subscribe. I appreciate everybody watching. And uh, drop a comment on which god you want to know next about as soon as I'm popping these videos out. Thanks for watching.